make beaded tags. A dupe from Hobby Lobby. Um, I seen probably last year or the year before and they were like $30 and I can't afford a $30 tag. So we're going to make our own Dollar Tree dupe. So you can get these at Dollar Tree right now. They have round ones, they have heart ones, they have ones that are crosses and then they have this one that looks like a tag. They have rub on letters or rub on decals. They have these right now because we're getting close to Christmas. Um, the Buffalo plaid bows. I'm going to mix these paints. I have Waverly in ink and then I have Krylon in Misty Gray. You're going to need some of these beads. These came from Hobby Lobby. You get a pack about this size for $1.99. I'm going to use this to mix my paint. You can get these at Dollar Tree. I'm using these to make candle holders also. And then some jute that I got from Dollar General. I think it's like three bucks. And I think that's all for the pieces that I'm using. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the tag. So I'm just going to... A little bit of the gray on there. And a little of the black. I want a softer gray, I guess. If you hear the Velociraptor in the background, that's my <laughs> daughter. That's the director. Alright, so I'm content with this color. It just needs to be so that the black kind of pops off of it. And I just want to... I'm not sure what that is. It looks like pie. Maybe hot glue. Okay, so I'm pretty content with that color. Now, I'm just going to take and paint my tag. Make sure your brush strokes are even. And get around the sides. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer just to warm it up a little bit and get it to dry a little bit quicker and I'll be right back. So I painted the tag and I went ahead and painted the back side and dried it really quick. Um, I'm not going to put more than one coat on there because I like being able to see the wood coming through. And then I have a couple of spots here. I'm not too concerned about that. I may end up hitting it with sandpaper at some point. So I'm just going to leave those. Um, now the next part 
is to take some of your jute and I'm gonna cut off about that much. So about that much and I'm going to run it through the tag like that. And then I'm going to take these. Um, I'm not going to paint these just simply because I want the contrast of the wood and the bead. But I think I am going to knot this. Here. drop of hot glue and I'm going to put the bead on there I'm just going to put some hot glue in there and hold it for a second because I don't want it to go all the way down to the tag. I'm going to lay it down so that that can dry like that. I'm going to finish adding my beads. You can make it as long or as short as you want, as many beads as you want, or as little beads as you want. So I have two, four, six, eight on there. That one's pretty sturdy. I'm going to knot this again. some glue in there and I'm gonna pull this bead up just a little bit so that it catches and it also gives it a little bit of room to be able to move around because if you have them too tight you can't like let them lay however and then while I'm waiting on that I'm going to wrap this around my fingers a couple of times like this. And I'm not sure how many times that is. I just, however thick I want the tassel to be. Then take and wrap it around like this. And then I bring mine through. Like so. And 
kind of just wrap around itself into this end. And I'm just going to hot glue that piece on there. And then down here, we're going to cut through these. Get my little baby scissors. Have a little tassel. And then, I'm going to run this through here. And then instead of cutting these off, I'm going to take my twist once and I'm going to wrap it a couple of times on there. to avoid burn, burning my fingers, but it's going to work at this point. And then down here, I'll take a good look. A tiny bit of glue on the bead and put it there like that. And without burning yourself, take and wrap. here and just a small piece of glue right there. I'm gonna keep that bead from coming down. So far that's what it looks like. I'm going to hot glue that together. So I'm like how it's laying. Just hot glue it up. Like so. That's that. I do want to use some of these. When you take the little like bread tie, this thing off, it pops it off, but they already hot glued it, so you kind of know how it's supposed to go already. And you just hot glue it back together. And then I'm going to take and glue it right here. Like so. And now I just want to see if I can still fit both of my little
pieces on there. We'll do forever first. I'm going to use my little scraper tool and use the back of it and rub these on. Take my Cricut tool and peel it off. Hopefully it doesn't lift any. The thing about it is if it does start to lift, you can just take and put it back down and go right back in the same place and you'll never be able to tell it. And so that is the finished tag. Would you come run?